Good afternoon. We are presenting Team Project One. Uh, we are uh, Team Twenty One as well. Part one of this of this project is to analyze and animate a four bar mechanism. And part two of this project is to synthesize uh, of a slider crank mechanism with the information provided on Blackboard. Team members of this group are Daria Garcia and Victor Consuela. That's me. We are from the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Um, at Florida International University. Uh, description of, of this project, we can see that we we did uh, analyzing an ani animation of a four bar mechanism, uh, syn uh, synthesis synthesis of a slider crank mechanism as well. Uh, that's in the most part what we what we actually did. Uh, motivation and goals for this project. Well, that is to learn and develop skills for mechanism analysis, <laughs> uh, obtaining uh, the, all the information needed to analyze and study the motion of mechanisms, and understand the useful applications of different types of mechanisms uh, in the engineering approach. So how can we um, uh, apply this a mechanism and and this type of systems to the real life. Divisions of responsibility. Responsibilities were equally divided between the members. Uh, member one, that's me, again, Victor Consuela did part uh, one, which was uh, the four bar mechanism, uh, the ca all the calculations, report, uh, writing, uh, PowerPoint presentations, presentation, I'm sorry, and um, video editing. Darier Garcia, uh, member two, did the uh, part two, which was about the synthesis of a slider crank mechanism and the calculations uh, involved, uh, report writing as well, and SOLIDWORKS and simulation of the whole project. Uh, both members, we can say, um, at the end, well, uh, fully involved with the project. Well, historical per perspective of this project. Mechanisms uh, were used by people uh, since the very beginning of humanity, uh, around the, uh, at the end of the 15th, the 15th century. Um, different types of purposes, such as transportation, uh, work, um, siege w uh, weapons, um, were used by these people at that, at that time. Um, industrial revolution was a key factor in the development of this type of mechanisms, uh, which was the, the boom of linkage systems uh, and the transition to new manufacturing processes uh, due to, to this explosion. Other applications during the industrial revolution, which was a, a main uh, um, a very iconic time in this in this topic: fabrication of clothes uh, in the industry, power conversion, uh, speed regulation, uh, machining. In our era, uh, these type of mechanisms um, can be found in the automotive, uh, sports mm -hmm. equipment, uh, precision machinery. Um, medical <coughs> devices used all around the world, and more to the future, human-like robots we are starting to develop. Applications of four-bar mechanisms can were found to to well, we actually did a, a did think about that. Um, we got to the conclusion what, that one of the applications uh, that that we like. Uh, is the in the army for cargo transport transportation of ammunition and wounded soldiers in in order to to avoid loss of uh, human lives. Um, slide crank mechanisms applications can be found. Um, again, we uh, like this one because it was very very appropriate. Was the piston moving in an engine? For, uh, 
engines used in all cars, uh, almost all cars, and other type of systems that we for different tasks. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, my name is Daria Garcia, as my teammates say, um, my teammates say before. Uh, using the equations for uh, provided by the made by the by the book given by the professor to Blackboard, uh, <clears throat> we were able to f to analyze the four valve mechanism and um, obtain the following data, which is the pos the precision the position for each of the joints. Uh, Founding at a, uh, once a one degree instead of time, uh, t which is theta four one means that's theta uh, for the first loop, and theta four two means that's the uh, the angle for the second loop, um, as well for theta three. Uh, we we also find the angular velocity of those joints again uh, once uh, at a one degree step. We found it to be f uh, this value for the closure one and the 42 for the closure one, for the closure two. I'm oh, sorry. Using solid work, we were able to trace the, the trajectory of the of the points that we that we were asked to find, and we found that for for a project we we decide to. To go with the tie one mechanism uh, crank broker, and we can f and we can see here in this image the the type of, of motion, and for the point attached to the coupler, we are obtaining that type of motion with the data that we that we're analyzing with the data that we that was given. Uh, here's a an animation of that motion. We can see the the rocker motion here. This is the rocker motion and the crown motion. We decide to go with the with the crown uh, rocker mechanism, four valve mechanism. Is one of the advantages of that mechanism is that the uh, we can create motion with a we using one uh, input and we can create motion. One of the disadvantages of the mechanism that is that the motion. It's only linear, and in case we need, we want to to make a in three dimensional motion, we we have to add another input, which we we have, will let us to uh, simulate rotation. This is the is a double rocket kind of motion, and we see now the four bar mechanism that form the leg. Those are the four bars forming the light, and now you see only one input input is needed. Rotary input is needed to simulate that motion. That's uh, the motion simulation. Uh, we found, we saw that this type of application can be used in the army for uh, transporting uh, people. I don't know food. And you see, only uh, two-dimensional motion can be obtained with that type of mechanism. We found it to be pretty uh, fascinating to to go through the to the, through the whole presentation very quick and summarize everything. Uh, we used position equations, uh, loop equations, to determine. The, all the, the information about position in this mechanism. Uh, first derivative of position equations was done, so we, can, we could get velocity equations to find the, this information in the entire mechanism again. Uh, then we, <coughs> we did second derivative of position equations, or either first derivative of Velocity equations were found uh, in order to obtain information for the acceleration in the mechanism, and we did the synthesis of the slide current mechanism by coming uh, from the beginning by using the points given <coughs> on the three positions.